What's up guys, Gorob here and welcome back to episode 4 of Missy's Mission, that is correct. We are continuing on the grind of the EAFC Road to Glory. Today, the main aim is to try and upgrade Missy Bokerns as much as we can. Yesterday we had a massive pack opening, sadly didn't really get too much too good to help us out. So, the focus now turns back into the team and with a brand new Nike Mad Ready promo released, it means that we get a few special cards and on top of that, we have a 4,600 thief points to start using up. So we're going to go through what we're going to do with them very, very shortly. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to leave the video, like, rate and comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Right and so into the game we go. Now, as I say, we have all of the brand new Nike Mad Ready promos. The reason being, last video we recorded like... 24 hours ago from when i'm actually recording this i didn't want to load up the game since obviously having all the new thief points out all the packable content i've kind of wanted to save that for the start of today's video and then from there as i say we're going to go and upgrade missy vocerns a little bit more because she's only a 75 rated as it stands i would like to get another upgrade ideally i would also love to get a hold of virgil van dyke obviously sam Kerr and puteas would be fantastic but we're a little bit low on coins, and um, we're still on around 1,700 coins. Obviously, we have the 4,600 thief points. As you can see above me, we've moved things around for the camera um, so that you guys can actually see what is going on. Um, on top of that, in terms of objectives, we are slowly working towards this 83 times 10 pack. As soon as we get that, that will be really, really nice to open. I don't know whether that will be this video to finish things off, or it may be the next video. Um, but we still have a few bits to do in terms of objectives, so it's not impossible to get done. Um, and once we start doing another game with our Nike player, the things are going to work out pretty well. So, to start off with, we'll hop over to the store. Um, in terms of what we have, we have a two red gold pack, so that's quite nice um, to start things off with. We also have our loan ambassador pack, so we get an Erling Haaland for 10 games, which is fantastic. And then on top of that, we get two ambassador loans. So, obviously, as I say, we have Virgil van Dijk. In terms of our other ambassador, we have the option of van Dijk, Son, or Vinicius Jr. Now... In terms of the team, Van Dijk makes sense because we'd like a centre-back. However, we also have Joe Gomez, who... Uh, do we have Joe Gomez already? We may have Joe Gomez. I can't remember. If we do, then, we'll, then we don't really need him. But I have a feeling that I want somebody off the bench. Vinicius Jr. is fantastic. From what I've used on the main account in a draft, he was just unbelievable. So him and Haaland may be our front line, depending on what happens for the first weekend league next week. And then in our second ambassador, we also get the option of Sam Kerr, Marta or Pop. Now, for me, it makes sense to go with Sam Kerr. She's got a really, really good card. Obviously, with being in the women's league, um, obviously can link to the likes of Missy Bokern. So it offers some good links there with Chelsea as well. Um, we've got the Nike and the Team of the Week packs. We'll open that in a second in hope for Salah. We'll do the two rare gold pack. These can be good. Um, I've had some decent cards out of some of these so far. Sadly, uh, this isn't looking too good to help us out, which is absolutely fine. Um, again, just more gold cards into the club. We've still got plenty of SBCs that we can get through. We also have the brand new player SBC in De Bruyne. I don't think we're going to do that on this account. This account isn't anywhere near being able to complete it. And the whole point of this is to... Show that you can grind the game without having to do all the big content, especially when EA are adding these promo packs into store, um, which is really, really disappointing to see because on an account like this, something like open one of these is impossible. Yes, on the main account, I got Cristiano Ronaldo. Bit of a spoiler there if you want to go and check out the YouTube shorts on that. But yeah, um, hopefully we don't get too far behind. We do have our preview packs. So we may as well start the day off with that one as well. Salah. No, it's not Salah. You know, when you just see Egypt, you always hope for the best. Trezeguet isn't really that. However, maybe it's an omen for our Team of the Week pack, considering we got an Egyptian there. Can we get one here? Now, this is the kit. So, sadly, um, the, the night kit doesn't offer us too much. Obviously, we're using the other kits for now to get objectives done. But until then, it's a very nice kit to use in the future. Um, and I have no issues with it. However, that's not what I'm after here. We're after a good loan and oh this is not really good i was hoping we might have had a better inform the kiesa isn't ideal either i mean yes he is i mean considering it's just his base card he's about 70 odd k so we get him for 24 games obviously you need to play 20 games with these cards um i will be doing that probably against myself on the ps account and um, just to save time more than anything it just makes things a little bit quicker but we might obviously use Kiesa for the first one to get a little bit of XP to start off the day as well. So, overall, not starting well now. In terms of the team, 
Obviously, we have Bernardo Silva, who does allow getting Kevin De Bruyne into the team. And I'm not opposed to doing Kevin De Bruyne. The issue that we have is when you look at this club, we have, yeah, we've got a few decent high-rated cards on the bench. You look into the club, okay, yeah, there's a few loans, there's one or two walkouts, it's not bad. But we haven't got an 86 and an 87 rated team in us. So I have a feeling that we're going to let De Bruyne pass. We're going to focus on doing evolutions because it is more beneficial to us. So the whole aim of today is we are going to upgrade Missy Bokerns further and try and pick up one or two cards for the team that we are working towards. Now, obviously the future team is going to be expensive. Dom and Nunes, since we've last looked at him, has gone up quite a lot in all honesty. Um, he is currently sitting around 25 to 30,000 coins. So it's going to be hard to obtain him just to do evolutions. Obviously, if we can get Matip and we can get Perisic quite quickly, then we can work on doing them. But for now, as I say, the focus is on Missy Bokern. So what I'm going to do is we're going to go into the games and finish off this. So we need to do two more games with two goals from the outside of the box, which should be fairly simple to do. Um, in terms of doing that, you need to do it with your Evo player. Now, we are about to show a goal that I thought classed as an outside-of-the-box goal. Now, it was an absolutely wonderful goal. However, clearly it didn't count. So, what I might do is play one game in Rivals and then play one game in a game of squad battles just to allow me to do this um but what we do need to do is actually play two games of rivals to get the bottom objective done so with that being said i'm going to go and play those, play those games get all of this complete and then let's get back to maybe an sbc or two to open but more importantly we're going to have missy bokerns upgraded once again right then so here we are missy bokerns complete with the level two now this did take a little bit of time to do it was the outside of the box goals which was causing me the most problems but we can claim the third evolution that we've had on it so far it gives us a plus one overall three shooting and three dribbling so this card is starting to look very very nice 77 pace 71 shooting 80 passing which i think is very very good for us 79 dribbling very nice and then the Defending and physicals are a little bit low, but that's okay. So, we have a one more evolutions to go on it. To make it a 78 rated with 78 pace and 71 physicals. We also get the pinged pass trait, which is really, really good as well. So, this one is going to be five assists with her um, in rivals or champs. And then you have to win five games. So, rather than just playing five games, we have to win them. This one we're not going to do in this episode. I'm going to do this off of the video. Um, and then basically have this to start with tomorrow. Only reason being this isn't going to take me a little bit longer to do and well we don't really have the time for that and as you can tell i'm in a completely different top and it's a new day and um, that's how late we are to this but by doing it we have completed a lot of objectives which is very nice we are slowly working towards the 83 times 10 pack sadly we're going to miss out on it by 50 xp even if it was to do everything i can right now so yeah that's probably going to be in tomorrow's video uh, we'll have that which is very nice but we obviously had the 4600 thief points i do want to make the most of them so we are going to do a few little bits with it um on top of claiming all of these bits and bobs we have an 81 times two pack here which could be something good for us um a little darwin nunes would be quite nice we are obviously working towards a few new parts of the team we're also going to have this ready to go for the start of the next video to have all the rewards there so an 85 times two pack on top of i think there's some 81 times twos as well and um, it's a player pick in there and then we also get a lone player pick from the five options available now we have options of taking one of the five cards available i'm personally going to be taking van dyke because in this club obviously van dyke makes more sense however we could go with Puteas. we could go with i think it's sam care i'm not really too sure yet i think we'll decide on that tomorrow but as i say we're slowly working towards the chemistry as i say we're about 250 away here and um, even if we get this complete that's another 500 and um, so we're a little bit behind right now Um, we would have to obviously play another six games and well i'll be honest with you I ain't got time to play six games to get the video up. So we are also able to claim all of the stadium stuff. This stuff is quite boring. Um, I will be honest with you. I'm not really too bothered by it. But again, it's stuff that will help us out over the year. And then we've also got a few bits in foundation complete. So we've got this one done, which is going to give us 100 coins and a small customization pack. Again, not really ideal. All of these packs I'll open in my own time. Um, save you guys having to watch. But we've also got this complete. So this will give us a 500 coins and... 
two three common packs and a mini customization pack so again nothing really too good in there but that is pretty much everything i think for our objectives completed and um, apart from this one here which is an assist mastery which we get a gold pack so we're filling the club with lots of gold cards and um, which is going to help us out for spcs and speaking of spcs we obviously need to make the club a little bit more stacked shall we say so i went through last night and worked out what we could actually do um, good news, uh, we do have the challenge SPC. I'm probably going to leave that unless we need to put a player in somewhere. Um, but good news, we are going to have our first 100k pack. It is in Hybrid Nations. I've completed both of these. So six are the best. Um, obviously, just using all Bundesliga players and then just using a few nations from the same counterpart as well. Got the rating so we can use a few smaller cards. It's a small prime gold pack, so it could be pretty decent for us. Um, and then on top of that, we also have this one, which I think is like a mixed player pack which isn't that good but it allows us to have a 100k pack so we're going to finish off on the 100k pack today and um, as i say we were also talking about fifa points there is a plan for this the the whole idea that i have is making the most of these fifa points so the draft is fun to play right now but personally i'm not that good at the game so because of that i'm going to avoid it um, and because it means we can then focus on mystical kerns a little bit more so again we're going to sort of avoid the draft we could do maybe one if we wanted to. So I might save like 300 FIFA points for that. But the one thing that I do want to do is in Evolutions, we obviously have the availability to upgrade a left winger. Now, because of that, um, if we go to here it is, um, we can upgrade a left winger for 1,000 FIFA points, which obviously we don't have the 50,000 coins. And even if we did, I wouldn't want to waste it. So 1,000 FIFA points is a good option to get a midfielder is what I am going to go for. We could have gone with Ansu Fati. Most people are. But as you can see by the team... This is what I want to go for. We obviously are going to upgrade Matip as well, but Perisic is available to upgrade, and he looks really, really fun. So I think what we are going to do is spend our first set of FIFA points. Now, Perisic, as I say, is super cheap for like 500, 600 coin cards. I have no issue putting this into a untradeable like objective, I guess. Um, the only thing that we have is when we eventually get around to getting Darwin Nunes, he's obviously going to be quite expensive so for now i'm obviously going to hold off on obviously doing darwin nunes but once we maybe pack him untradeable or something it'll be absolutely fine as i say perisic is somebody that i wanted to work on obviously we want matip as well for our center back so again i don't mind submitting that because it's going to be a usable card for the next few weeks for us obviously with the liverpool links with missy bo kearns that helps us out a lot and um, eventually in game we're going to play with kearns and perisic as our two center mids we'll have bernardo silva as our cam in a 4-3-3-4 I think we're going to play and um, Fernand Torres and Russo as the wingers and then Morata as the striker so again a really really good team as I say we're going to work towards getting that done but for now obviously to get the likes of Matip we need coins so we're going to head over into the store and um, we've obviously got all of these rubbish save packs but we're going to open them and see if we can get anything good then we're going to spend a few FIFA points that we have um, maybe spend maybe I don't know, like a thousand or something like that open maybe anywhere between five to ten packs hopefully pack something good because if we you know if we can pack something good then that's definitely going to help us out and um, if not then it is what it is so in terms of this pack give me Rafinha oh it's going to be Anthony uh, not the best player to get but not a bad card so that's all of the awful packs dealt with all of the pitch lines and the whatever all the stuff that we get all the stuff that we claimed before that you don't really need to know about that I don't really care about we'll obviously change the stadium themes throughout the year but it's mainly going to be Liverpool themed obviously keeping in line with the road to glory but what we do now have is the good pack so we'll do the 81 double pack again if we could pack one of the new night cards that would be really nice as well we are going to pack a spanish left back from valencia which is gaia so again not bad cards just not very usable timo Werner, though is very nice that's actually quite a usable card and also one that we could do the evolutions with now instead of doing darwin nunez maybe when it comes closer to the time and we still don't have nunez this would be a good option for us um, we could then obviously look into using some of the bundesliga players and that would be super fun but for now i think it'd be a really good option off the bench we then also have the small 45k pack so we'll open this and in this we are going to get a hungarian center back it is only going to be orban uh, so that's not so good for us again going to help out adding stuff to the club again not too bad um 
I guess there's some yeah decent rating there for us. I didn't realize Orban was an 83 rated, but we'll take it. And um, we won't do this pack yet. Now, obviously, as you can see, we've also got all of these brand new promo packs in store. We're not going to be touching these on the road to glory. It's not worth doing. These are the only FIFA points we have, the 4,600. So obviously, we need to make the most of them. And spending 2,000 coins on this pack is definitely not worth it, considering it's not tradable as well. It's not ideal. Um, obviously, this type of pack is worth doing um because we might be able to get something good however i'm going to avoid it for now i want to fill the club with some seven and a half k so as i say we'll probably open a handful of these maybe we do 10 of them um in the hopes we can get something good is this going to be luckman no it is going to be the nottingham forest uh nigerian which is a so i'm not too bad now what i am going to do is to make some coins as well as getting obviously the coin unlocks and um, we're going to send all the cards to club and then we're going to discard all of the consumables. Unless there's something specifically that sells. For me, over the course of the next sort of two to three weeks, we're going to be opening lots of gold packs that are also going to be um, untradeable. And because of that, we're going to get a lot of consumables that way. So unless it's something like a backbone, which actually has some sort of use to me. Um, one thing I will say is all of these cards sell on right now because of the objective. So I might sell on all the injury cards, but everything else we don't really need too much. Again, badges quick sell they're absolutely fine to go i'd say certain chem styles we don't need certain ones will help us out quite a bit and um, so by saving them obviously it's just generating us these few extra thousand coins that we definitely need right now and um, we are going to get in uh, calabria again not really too good and um, not really have the best of pack luck have we recently way way he why he not a bad little card again sells for a few thousand coins can have a good upgrade on him as well if you wanted um we don't we we want to carry on upgrading on missy bokerns but as i say today we've done a bit of a grind but we haven't really got too much done um which is a bit disappointing however over the next sort of week or so we are properly going to grind out this game there will be a lot of me doing you know behind the scenes gameplay whether it be in squad battles whether it's being anything to do with like friendlies that we have to do for certain objectives that's the type of stuff that you guys know about but at the same time i'm not going to show we are going to show how to do some bronze pack method soon um because i feel like that is going to help us out make some coins i did a little bit of it just to test it out on the main account and it is working so that's a good news um so we are going to as i say rip it and test it out see if it works well for us obviously if we can make a few coins add a few bronze cards to the club that will definitely help out here and there so i think what we'll do is we'll do how many have we opened so far? Maybe about eight of these that we've opened so far. Um, this one, again, not really too good uh, in terms of a Crystal Palace CDM. So nobody, apart from that team of Werner, is going to help us out. Hunter is very nice, though. And 3,000 coins, which at the start of the game, that's basically just paid for Joel Matip. So our revolutions on Joel Matip can be completed, which you do not mind. Yeah, we've spent, what, 900 so far. I think we're going to leave it there. We've got six opened. Let's do a seventh you know because we all like to open packs a seventh one of these is going to be a dutch centre mid de Jong. no it is going to be i think this is the women's team um yeah this is so it's going to be grown and not the best card but again going to help us out for some sbcs that we still have left to complete another hunter is very nice as well so probably about ten thousand coins there yeah about ten thousand coins that we've made so far so that's really really nice so the only thing that we have left to do before we finish off today's video is open this 100k pack now as i say i'm going to complete the final evolutions on missy bookends before we start tomorrow's episode and um, so make sure to obviously check that out to see her final upgrade then we'll probably take her into a game just to use her and see how good she is maybe spend a few more fifa points maybe do another evolutions on a separate card who knows but to finish off today just give us a special card give us one of these brand new night cards that we've been wanting it isn't going to be but it is a brazil goalkeeper b liverpool Yes, it is Allison. That is absolutely fantastic. Allison is coming into the club. We are going to be using him for so long this year. I'm super excited by that. Allison obviously going to help us out quite a lot. Considering the fact that he's Liverpool, is obviously going to link to a lot of our players. So instead of using the Barcelona goalkeeper, she can now be a bit of fodder for us if we get a good SPC. Allison is really good, and there still can be stuff in behind. The question is. Are we going to get anything good in behind? We do get a few decent cards, but nothing too good. Another 85 rated, which isn't bad. Obviously, sadly, no double walkout yet on this account. Um, Iglesias isn't great. Romero's not too bad. 
Pariste isn't awful. Um, there's some decent cards here. Endo in there as well. Another Liverpool player, which is very nice to see. And Dick is in there. We've got Lang. But yeah, nothing really too much. We've also got Hilaire, so we'll deal with him with an SBC tomorrow. But for now... We are going to go and add Allison into the team. We're also going to leave it there for today. We are going to be using him in tomorrow's episode with that upgraded Missy Bill Kens. For now, though, that is where we're going to leave it.